everyone welcome to advice to think twice this is monica and i'm doing our june readings hopefully everyone's doing well this is going to be for taurus sun moon rising venus signs i'm using the crystal tarot deck the specials that i was running are no longer available but you still have my usual private reading um, offers on the website and uh, yeah, let's just jump in, shall we? What's going on for Taurus in June 2021? For Taurus in June 2021. Okay, so we have the Death card. The High Priestess. Ace of Cups. Five of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Cups, the Chariot, Magician, Hierophant, and the Moon. How interesting. Let me try to get them all in the frame here. Okay, bottom of the deck, the Four of Cups. What's going on, Taurus? The Four of Cups is an energy of just not being happy. Um, it's like meh type energy. <laughs> and that's your overall energy, Taurus. What's going on? It can also be like on again, off again energy. It could be wishy-washy energy. With the Sun card under that, it could be uh, that you're dealing with a Leo for some. For others, this is about no offer that you get is good enough because you don't want to relinquish your freedom. Interesting. So coming into the reading, we do have the death card. The death card talks about an ending, obviously. Um, it is something that was uh, necessary or a long time coming. Um, it's something that, you know, it doesn't, it affects multiple areas of your life, right? So if, for example, God forbid, this is the loss of a job, obviously that's gonna affect a lot of things, your living situation, um, obviously your finances, maybe even your relationships, right? So it's a, it's a big deal and it's something that has an echo um, in your entire life, right? So it could be some sort of like a big breakup, but if it's a breakup, it's not someone you've been seeing for two weeks, right? That That's not the death card energy. It's someone you were married to, or it's someone you were living with and finding a future with, right? Um, and it feels like a big ending. It feels like a big deal. The challenge, we have the High Priestess. For some of you, you could still have questions about this. You could still you know, want to talk about it. You want to know more about it. You want to understand it. You want to figure out what happened. Um, so for some of you, it may have been out of the blue in the past, you do have the Wheel of Fortune, so it could have been, or felt like anyway, to you, a sudden turn, a sudden twist, and then all of a sudden there's this ending happening, and you're left with a lot of questions that need answers. In the Foundation, the Five of Swords, it could be that people in your environment did something to bring this about. This is... Um, it's, it is a definitely a big shift. Fives are, are um, conflict, instability, change. And the Five of Swords can be uh, mean or spiteful energy. Uh, this could be the people around you or the person that you are dealing with. So it could be, for some of you, I'm actually getting this. Someone planned this and timed this so that when this ending happens, um, it would benefit them. Does that make sense? Crowning you, we have the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this is someone that you still have a lot of emotion for. You still have feelings for this person, no matter what happened. Um, for those of you, this is about a living situation. This is about a home. Um, and you're trying to figure out what happened. You're trying to figure out what happened. It's not easy to just move on. The Five of Cups is in your near future. So this is where we're still feeling the loss. This is sadness, sorrow, depression. Um, struggling to figure out what happened, struggling to accept that it happened, first of all. Um, so we're not at a point where we're looking to just bounce back and move forward here. We're at the point where we're in the middle of it and there's 
definitely like wallowing energy, right? Because there's still a lot of emotion that you have for this. In the position representing you, we have the chariot. So as you're going through the month, uh, more towards the end of the month, the chariot here is, you know, that energy where we pick ourselves up, we pick ourselves up by the bootstraps, okay, this is done, this is happening, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. It's where we take control of a situation. Travel might be important or relevant. This could also be where we move. Um, if there has been a sudden change in our living arrangements for whatever reason, in your environment, we do have the magician. So there is this new beginning in your environment. There is this conversation or negotiation. So I don't know if it's about getting a new job or talking to this person that there was this ending with or talking to a new person. Um, but there's this new beginning that you're talking about, right? And you're, uh, there's an element of negotiation here as well. Of this is what I'm willing to put in, this is what I would expect, etc. type conversation. In your hopes and fears, we have the Hierophant. So for some, the conversation, I feel like for some of you, you're experiencing a big breakup and a makeup uh, during the month of June, right? And it is Mercury retrograde, so whoever leaves your life during the Mercury retrograde, they do come back, um, either when it's going to, when Mercury goes direct or the next time Mercury is retrograde, they pop back up. Or, you know, people who come into your life during a Mercury retrograde, similar situation don't get too attached because they might go away by the time mercury goes direct etc because the hope is i hope we can get back on track i hope we can get married again i hope we can move back in together right but then the fear at the same time is i don't want to go back into the same patterns the moon and the outcome is confusion feeling like you need more information or you need to think about it some more uh, or you need some time to yourself. Here's what I see. Because these hiccups can also be some sort of offer. I see a breakup that happened to you. Someone left, right? Someone left, or they fired you, or they just they just walked away. Someone walked away. I'm reading the energy, and you, you take it as it makes sense to you, okay? Here they are having a change of heart. They change their minds. Oh no, sorry, Taurus, come back. Sorry, come back. Change my mind. With the High Priestess, though, you have seen a whole nother side to them. Like, I can't believe you could be this mean. I can't believe you could be this hurtful. I can't believe you could say one thing and then just stab me in the back in the next breath. So you saw something that you can't unsee. And even though here they are crowning you, what you're looking at is an offer. And it sounds amazing. It's, it looks like it's too good to be true. Because at this point, they're going to say whatever they need to say to get you back, right? Whether it's, okay, how much money do you want? Or, oh, I love you so much and blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is that they're going to have to say, they're going to say it. But it's cups. So it's about getting swept up in emotion. It's, there's not a lot behind it at this point. There's no action behind it at this point, right? It's just talk and they hope to be able to overwhelm you in emotion for you to say yes. And with the Five of Cups around mid-month, you're like, I don't know. I'm at a crossroads because I'm still dealing with the loss. I haven't fully processed the loss. And now you're coming back and you're ask, or you're asking me to come back. As if nothing happened there is a little bit of resentment there as well crowning like crowning you uh, the way you see yourself with the chariot when this happens when this person comes back or this or they try to offer you something or to offer you to come back in whatever capacity it does give you a sense of empowerment and it does give you a sense of control over the situation because you're like, oh, okay, so now you're coming back to me or now you need me again. In your environment, I feel like with the magician, they're going to try to negotiate. And the magician is, for you, I get like, okay, put your money where your mouth is, put it down on paper, make it official right tell the world and also kind of 
this is what I want, this is what I deserve, what are you willing to do about it, etc. type conversation. I do feel like with the Ace of Cups and the Magician, they're trying to meet your demands pretty much because you kind of see a glimpse of the commitment that is possible here or, or to repair or to revive the commitment or to start fresh, right? Start over. But at the same time, the Hierophant has a fear. The Hierophant is, you know, it's on on one side, it's stability and long term longevity, right? Um, but on the flip side, it's being trapped in something that is long term. Right? And you, you feel like you have to conform, you feel like you're stuck. So I feel like that's the two sides of the coin that you're looking at. Should I, shouldn't I? And you leave the month off with the moon. As advice, this could be trust your instincts, trust your gut, right? If they did this to you once, what's to say that's not gonna happen again? If they were this ruthless once, right? You know what I mean? Can someone really change if they do that in the first place? If they think that that's okay to do in the first place? And I feel like you're revising, reviewing everything with the moon. You're kind of getting a bird's eye view on everything and you're listening to your instincts and your intuition. I also see the moon for some of you as pulling back, either telling them no or just leaving them hanging for kind of for what they did to you. You're not gonna do the same to them, but you're gonna leave them hanging, hanging just to give them a taste of what it was like, what you felt. I do feel like for most of you, you're not going back to this or you're not allowing them to get you back or to take you back, um, to have you back rather. Because of how they handle the situation, if it was to be like a spur of the moment thing, something that was completely, you know, out of character in the moment, heated argument, something was said, and then you go back, oh my God, I, I was so angry, I just said it, I don't mean it, and you know from their previous words and actions that, you know, that wasn't a, that wasn't a common occurrence, etc. That's one thing, you can talk about that, right? You can work through that. But with the Five of Swords, it was so bitter and so cutting this is like I don't care with the five of swords I don't care what I have to do to get my way I don't care I'll do it I don't care who I have to step on I don't care I'll do it no regrets and no remorse and that is the issue this person they say they're sorry but it, they wouldn't have done it in the first place if they really were right if they really thought that that's not right to do why to do it then you know what I mean because like I say I feel like what happened took some planning on their part so they did this completely heartlessly and now they're coming back you know what I mean so Taurus it will be up to you what you do with this but it's still in the foundation it's still at the bottom of everything they are still this person that did that to you they have not changed. They will not change. Rationally, and when things are calm, they're lovely. But when they get put into a corner, when they feel stuck, trapped, or pushed, this comes out. No matter how long passes by, no matter how what kind of bond you have, no matter what kind of agreements or contracts are between you, whatever, they will cut through you to get to where they need to get to. Okay? So you take that and you mull it over and do what you feel is best for you, okay? And if you are dealing with these energies, I hope the reading helps give you some insight or confirmation of what you already know, because you already know these things with the High Priestess, you already know, okay? So I'll leave it there. Hope this helps. Be sure to watch all your signs. Let me know what you're dealing with here and if this helps you. Uh, thank you all for your support. Have a great month, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.